creator see me near. For I walk only where you would fit me. Stand only in places you have placed. <laughs>
Let's do what needs doing. Get out of here. Delirium. Well, try not to touch it or anything.
pleasure. Inquisitor. Stefan finally died. It was a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. He smiled. He said he smelled his mother's turnip stew. Slipped away. Something like that. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. Can you tell me more about Saharan? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashath, my people, and the Vince, we were lucky to go a day without blood. So what do you want to know? What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things. Fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. Have you left me here? And then? I'd seen how nervous he was. So I hadn't eaten anything. 
couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Sahara. What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog always put a smile on my face. Tell me about the Talvashar. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan or lose faith in the Kuhn, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kuhn to stay civilized. Isn't that what you did, then? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kuhn out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches. Standing in knee-high water, foaming red with blood. Ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate the Vinter forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round. Killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. I can't understand how those women in the kitchen could be awake so early after the night we had. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. The Chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the Kuhn. They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. You don't have to pass for a man to be a mercenary. I'm not passing as anything. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the Chargers, or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there, and over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. So 
So, how'd you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the Blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield, we'll gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. are assembling quite the influential list of allies. We could have stopped before that black Good day. just up and take your way. Sitting and waiting. Great, yeah? Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. Crane's nice, I suppose. Corifi's bit, though. Shite. 
I'll be back if I need you. Go on. And remembers a knife slipped to her in the darkness and wonders why the flower blooms. The servants are having trouble remembering some odd events. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Let's talk about something else. All right. I hear you've been busy. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Let's talk about something else. All right. So, Cole. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Stop causing trouble around Skyhold. You're upsetting people. I don't want to hear about it again. You won't. From Haven's fire come we, the able true, to Skyhold Waker, now. I hope it's not me. Inquisitor, a title hard to rhyme. A challenge for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Meriden, a humble bard. Are you a bard like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not blades. I hope my skills will help in some small way, if only I can give your deeds their due. What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Carry on, then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor. Put that stuff aside. Take a break. Best advice I've ever heard. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this, uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. I'm a person like any other. You don't have to treat me differently. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm overthinking things. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. So what exactly am I to the people out there? The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folks, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked?
Whatever I am to Thedas, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Right. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Committed to Hello, Inquisitor. Honor to help you. Whatever they are. Away with words, too. Shame. Inquisitor. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. It was the first time he had seen it. The tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light, until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walks the Fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great Ferelden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tide no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay, the victims of a dark-spawn horde, their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Something you need? I heard of your verdict on Alexius Inquisitor. Research on your behalf is almost too kind. I hope you know what you're doing. Do be wary of anything that man proposes. Inquisitor. I'm listening. Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven, should Corypheus or his lackeys return. So far, nothing, and the breach has been quiet for some time. There is something, at least. I'll leave you to your work. First, a full wheel of Antivan smart cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. I just... I can't recall their face.
There's no end of it. I can store an army.
Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montilier's fortunes. I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. Debt or no, you appear to be surviving. That isn't enough. A disaster could wipe us out completely. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Most people worry about their next meal, never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams, my brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale... <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Who hates the Montilliers enough to do that? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request that you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family.
Let's see what we have. your service. Inquisitor, 